That's right. That was the unboxing experience. Basically all that you get with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. And it's for that reason, I think we should do something a little bit more special when it comes to the rest of this video. Yep, I brought the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 with me on a trip to Hawaii that I took with Isa. Clearly when it cuts to me, I'm sitting in my home office, so in these clips I have returned from this particular trip. But most of the photos and videos you're about to see in this video come from the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 in this real-world camera test. Before I dive into my thoughts regarding this phone during the trip, and no I don't mean into the ocean because this is not rated for salt water, the IPX8 rating is for fresh water only, I do want to give a few thoughts on the device at large because the travel experience of using a foldable that can become a bigger screen is one of the highlights of this phone. I made sure to download a bunch of stuff so that I could enjoy this larger display, and I will put out some just general universe gratitude for an upgrade to first class and also a full frame camera so that I could actually capture these clips and you could see what my usage would have been like on the plane, but it was so funny to me that despite having a good screen in front of me, I did not want to use it because I had an even better display in my hands with all of the content that I wanted to watch. And you can see just how lovely this particular AMOLED display uh, was able to render render out food wars and uh, it's okay to not be okay. Too bad for Issa that there was enough of a barrier between us in our seats that she was not going to distract me from things like my gameplay on the Z Fold 3. And I am going to get into more thoughts about the phone in general in a future video, but it should come as no surprise that I already think the Galaxy Z Fold 3 works best in very particular scenarios like this one. But of course this is a vlog of sorts and it's all about the cameras. You still get a trio of 12 megapixel sensors on the back, one of them being a telephoto, the other being a wide angle, and of course your main sensor. The front facing camera, or better called the cover camera, uh, is 10 megapixels, very similar to what you would see in plenty of Samsung devices for a front facing shooter. So even though the tuning and whatnot might have been enhanced so that you get better results this time around, for the most part the experience is going to be the same. In fact, the most significant change to the camera experience comes when you open up the phone, and that's because the camera that is on the inner display is actually trying to hide from you. This is Samsung's first under display camera, one that is hiding behind a layer of pixels so that it can blend in with any of the media you might want to have full screen on the inner display. It's a lot like a punch hole that's trying not to be a punch hole, but still kind of looks like a punch hole. But in order to achieve this, they did have to scale back the actual camera underneath and make it a 4 megapixel shooter. More on that in a little bit as I do use it for a few clips. So since we did have both foldables on hand, Issa and I decided to swap them on various days. This particular day, I am of course using the Z Fold 3 and Issa will be using the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Check out her video in the link above and in the description. Our first stop on this morning is to a wonderful spot we actually frequented called Morning Glass in Manoa. You probably know that I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to my tea and my coffee, so a little bit of research goes a long way in me finding a wonderful spot like this. Yeah, if it seems like he is a little bit low here this morning, why? I haven't had coffee. She's one of those. Morning Glass sits among all of the different houses in this neighborhood of Manoa, which was actually one of the first, if not the first place, to have coffee plantations on the Hawaiian Islands. Some black coffee for me, a latte for Isa, and a strata bread pudding for the both of us. And like many other vloggers that I watched in the research leading up to this trip to Hawaii, uh, we went ahead and did a bit of a car vlog, a bit of a car mukbang, which was made very possible given the form factor of the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Unfortunately, if you're hoping to use that inner display because it's a little bit easier and you get a view of a viewfinder for your recording, uh, that camera is just not going to be as good as any of the other ones that are on this phone. Yeah, already seeing some dynamic range um, issues. It's a four megapixel camera underneath that display. Uh, by the way, she's eating the strata right now. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're in flex mode right now, which looks fine, like it's a cool thing to be able to do not able to do more than 1080p capture and we already showed or rather let me show it again if not um, 
a selfie using that particular camera. It's already got lower detail than what you might be expecting or wanting from this particular shooter. And now just real quick, just want to show the camera on the cover display. Um, so this one is able to do 4K. So this I think looks very better, obviously. Yeah, it already looks better on like the viewfinder. From the tiny screen. Yeah. And we're on the front facing tiny screen, <laughs> huh? I can already see how, how much better it looks. So it's definitely already better on And on, I'm not wearing glasses. <laughs> The coffee was needed for a long drive to the leeward side of the island, leeward meaning the more western side of it, where we were going to find a quiet beach to get away from the hustle and bustle of Honolulu and Waikiki. It was also meant to be the site of one of Issa's most desired activities while being here, and that is a picnic. Look up what fresh poke you should be eating on the islands, and you will constantly see that some of the best come from grocery stores like this, Foodland. Bit of a slower day today, but you can see that we're in a grocery right now. That's because one of the best places on the islands to get seafood, poke bowls in particular, is in a food land. And a really awesome place like this. I mean, get all your groceries here. It's really good. But check out the poke. And I was definitely overwhelmed by just the amount of choice we had for various bowls of seafood and poke. Everything from octopus to salmon to various flavorings that were all mixed together in order to create yet another flavor. I mean, there is poke that is supposed to emulate a California roll or even okonomiyaki, which is a Japanese pancake. And even though poke technically began as a way for the fishermen to eat every part of the fish, including the parts they would just cut off, it has become a form of its own cuisine, heavily influenced by Japanese and Asian cuisines, all of which came to the islands and added their own flavors. So far you can see that the 12 megapixel shooters are perfectly fine. The videos might be a little bit grainy, uh, especially when you get into medium light situations, uh, but overall I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing from here. And of course, with the fun ways that you can actually get your shots given the form factor of the Z Fold 3, um, well, the fun is there for sure. Once again, here's my 10. Go ahead, talk about it in the comments. We brought our Foodland Poke uh, about 40 minutes into the leeward side of the island to uh, Makaha Beach Park. There are other modes in the camera app so that you can get more creative with the ways that you shoot with the Z Fold 3, including a food mode which allows you to focus in on one particular portion of the frame, uh, presumably to add a blur vignette effect uh, so that the food just pops. Although not too far away from Honolulu, Makaha does feel like a whole world away. It has far less people than Waikiki Beach, and that's exactly what we were looking for so we could just sit down in a couple of chairs that I'm very proud of having and uh, just enjoy our poke on the beach. As a matter of fact, it was such a chill place to be that plenty of other people were just on their phones, just chilling out, getting some sunbathing done, and I felt like I could do that even better with a larger screen in the Galaxy Z Fold 3. See, he's right over here and right in front of us. This is a good look at the wonderful views that we have both behind and in front of us. And this is the director's view, now available on the Z Fold 3. So if I have myself in the corner over here, we can always just zoom right into the waves that are crashing down right now. Get closer to it, you can see it coming. And then wide again as we show where we're standing in front of the bottom. Breaking the shore. Obviously, I'm getting pretty bold with where I'm bringing the phone right now, but the Galaxy Z Fold 3 does have an IP rating now, which is pretty great. Uh, so it can take the water, but this salt water here, this not fresh water that is currently wetting my feet, I'm still not comfortable dunking it in there. I'm still being very careful while I'm next to the, the shore. And you can see that I'm enjoying yet another way that this form factor adds to the shooting experience. If you turn on the camera while the phone is folded, there is a little button in the corner that says selfie. At that point, you can open up the entire phone and use the rear cameras as your main shooters and use the outer display as a viewfinder. This is one of my favorite ways of using the Z Fold 3 because as a vlogger, this is obviously something I want to be able to do very often, use the main cameras for higher quality. With this uh, selfie mode that allows me to use this uh, cover display as a viewfinder, obviously I can frame up, get some pretty good uh, vlogging shots like this, and if I wanted to, I can go a little wide, 
be able to do that. Now you can see Isa. Uh, and if I go back to the 1X, that gives me a little bit more of the focus. <laughs> that way you can actually show off the food like this wasabi flavored uh, salmon poke. But that leads me to another caveat when it comes to the form factor of the Z Fold 3. If you are an avid smartphone vlogger or content creator, things like this tool in my hand, the Mantis Pod, won't really be that compatible with this phone. Typically with these vlogging systems, you have a phone mount like this that just clamps onto a more traditionally sized or shaped smartphone. The thing is with the Galaxy Z Fold 3, you can just barely get a clamp onto this form factor and it's harder because the phone is basically doubled up in its thickness. So it just doesn't feel safe on here and clearly it's not going to be able to fit when the phone is completely opened up like this. So clearly it's not going to work with the kinds of tools that vloggers and avid content creators might already be using with their more conventional smartphones. Samsung, I think it's finally time to find a way to get past this because the Galaxy Z Fold 3 clearly has the most to offer when it comes to its cameras. I mean, the Z Flip 3 doesn't have a zoom, for example. And that zoom obviously came in handy when I wanted to get some far shots of the scenery around our little spot in Makaha Beach. For good measure, Isa and I decide to have one last destination for our respective phones. And the next morning we decide to go to Morning Glass again, but then bring our coffee and food along the way to a wonderful drive to the Bayodo Inn Temple. Set at the very end of a short drive through a cemetery, the Bioto Inn Temple in Hawaii is actually a replica of a temple found in the Kyoto Prefecture of Japan. Again, we're looking to get away from the craziness that is Honolulu and Waikiki, and this is yet another great place to do so. The scenery and the peaceful tranquility of a Japanese temple like this is just something you can't deny. Even though there is a Buddha statue in the very middle of Biodo Inn Temple, it is actually a non-denominational temple. After all, Bayodo Inn is found in the Valley of the Temple's Memorial Park, which has plenty of representation from other religions. You might have noticed a couple of clips of a wearable uh, showing up in this journey, and that's this, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Expect another video on this wearable coming pretty soon. But it was at the Bayodo Inn Temple that I decided to use it for one of its coolest functions, and that is as a remote shutter. And don't worry, I made sure that there was a little bit of cover underneath so that the cover display was not getting scratched up by the concrete it was sitting on. After what amounted to a lot of peaceful times both at Makaha Beach and then at the Bioto Inn Temple, we decide to swap our phones. And now you can see Isa's video on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 over on her channel. Once that is available, you will see it in links appearing above and below. And so there you have it, uh, a day and a half-ish of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 in this real-world camera test. Uh, honestly, there's not a whole lot that I can say now that I didn't already say in the previous version of this phone. And that's, well, the shooting experience is really fun because of the form factor of this foldable. But ultimately, the cameras are not going to be as powerful as even uh, Samsung's own offerings in like the Galaxy S21 Ultra or anything like that. But that's not the point of this device. After all, in this case, you're not paying that higher premium for the best possible cameras. They are good cameras, but they are on a phone that literally expands into a tablet. That is what you are paying for. And while this form factor might make it so that there are more possibilities with shooting with these cameras, unfortunately for the serious content creator who already has a workflow and various tools at their disposal for more conventional smartphones, well, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 just doesn't quite fit in. But if you do decide to get this phone for its multitasking and productivity capabilities, you can rest assured that the cameras are actually quite good and they are exactly what you need for fun moments like what we just saw in this real world camera test out in Hawaii. For more on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, I have plenty of content still on its way. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. From there, you can drop some likes on this video and leave some comments in the comment sections down below. Tell me what you thought of everything you saw in this video. For now, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea, everybody.